super busy, so if you didn't have time to get your mom, your grandma, mother-in-law, or maybe just the special mom figure in your life, a little gift for Mother's Day, don't worry, we've got you covered here. Joining us is lifestyle expert, Kimber Westfall. Good morning to you, Kimber. Hey, Cleo, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, and you're looking good there too. Now, what gifts can you celebrate mom with this year for Mother's Day? Well, you know, I always like to think, if I can, of some sort of give back element, almost oh, yeah. like a social impact gift. So uh -huh. I have a couple of those. Um, let's start over here with a trifecta situation of local businesses all collaborating. So this involves a local artist named Donald Robertson, um, the local company Barrington, and then a nonprofit Dallas Children's Advocacy Center. So they all came together last year and created this print right here. Um, and raised about $40,000 for the cause of DCAC. And because that was such a success, they said, hey, let's do it again. And they have this lip print. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can get them customized, um, you know, just really um, special. And, you know, this might even be something good to get a friend of yours that's a mother that you want to celebrate too. Um, so I love this social impact option. And then uh, another social impact option involves Genesis Women's Shelter and a company called Ali Best. It's two mothers who founded this company. And guess who designed this, Cleo? I'm going to bring a little closer. It's really so huge. I wish you were the here. children at Genesis Women's Shelter designed this. Oh, wow. So Allie and Bess took a bunch of um, beads in and they the children designed it. And this right here is their gemstone collection. So you could also get, uh, or their birthstone collection. So you could also get a birthstone um, for your mother. And also let's remember too, those of us who, those people who maybe don't have a mother with them right. anymore. Or maybe um, lost their mom, great. yeah to commemorate that. So Mother's Day can be, um, of course, celebratory, but it can be, it can be, you know, tough. So this is a great way to commemorate that too. So um, let's move on, if we may, Cleo, to- Yes, but well, Kimber, really quick here, you're showing yeah. us some, some local products. Where can we get this stuff today? So, um, well, this one you can actually go and do today or tomorrow. Um, some of these you can order online. And what I always do, because things get so busy, this is actually how I'm receiving my Mother's Day gift from my husband and daughter, is um, they uh, had a picture of what I'm getting, but they ordered it in the mail and they said, hey, it, it, it's coming. Um, so that's a great option too. Okay, talk um, about last minute. All right, let's move on. What, what's the next thing you have here, Kimber? Okay, so there is a company called Wildlife. They opened last July. Uh, it's female owned and it's piercing reimagined. And the trend that they're seeing is something I like to call generational piercing. They are having grandmothers, mothers, daughters coming in. I mean, women in their 70s are getting multiple piercings. So I'm gonna hold these up. It's all fine jewelry. When you walk in, it's like you're walking into a fine jewelry store and then they have the piercing culture intertwined with that. Um, you can also get a gift card and this is just something that you can go in and do with your mom or with a friend. Last week I did something with one of my best friends. We went and got piercings together to commemorate her birthday and they have um, buy one, get one free piercing, not the earring itself, but the actual piercing if you bring your mom in this weekend. Okay, that's a fun uh, gift idea and an experience as well. Now on the same line of experiences, uh, what's a little secret as a mom that you can let us in on? So, you know, sometimes people think that, you know, Mother's Day, they want to spend the whole day with their family and everything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes mom just wants a little bit of peace and quiet. So I think you could really surprise and delight mom with um, just some, you know, an hour of peace. Maybe it's a massage. Uh, my husband surprised me and I actually have a massage therapist coming to the house on Sunday night after the baby goes to bed. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, bringing breakfast in bed to mom saying, hey, watch Netflix for a couple hours, we'll leave you alone. Oh, I like that, a little peace and quiet. That's a good idea, Kimber. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Great ideas, I love that they're local. Thank you so much, Cleo. All right.